Kim. I received an email from my bank and they asked me to enter my password. I was skeptical because I wasn't sure how to tell if it's real or not. How do you tell? That's a great question, and you were right to be skeptical because a bank will almost never send you one like that. And they're almost always from scammers, so assume that it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are quite a few things you can look for to help make that determination for sure. And of course, worst case, delete it. If it's important, they'll send it again. But all of this is based on what we refer to as social engineering, getting you to do something that if you thought it through, you wouldn't do. You'd know better. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the, the scammers have a lot of, of techniques they use, mostly taking advantage of the basic human emotions that uh, could motivate you to do something like click or open or whatever. Uh, fear is a common one. Uh, fear of your bank account being closed or you're not being able to get your email or something else bad happening if you don't click that link or open that attachment or whatever. Uh, greed is another big one. Uh, the, the Nigerian Prince letters are still out there, one form or another. Right. And click here, you'll get your $26 million and uh, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, curiosity. A lot of the subject lines are composed just in a way to get your curiosity. Well, I wonder what that means. And, and what would I not know if I didn't open this email? And so that's a big one. Uh, there's also the, the whole romance issue and the, the lonely hearts type of thing. People that are looking for romance in all the wrong places. And obviously most of those do not turn out well. Now, obviously there are legitimate sites, the match.com mm -hmm. and the eHarmony and, and all of those. But I'm talking about you get an unsolicited email from a, a 26 year old girl in Russia that's looking for a man like you, right. <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> Again, with, if you give it any thought at all, it's real obvious that there's nothing legitimate about it. But some people just get caught up in the moment and that's, that's when they fall for it. Right. There's also what's known as FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. That's the fear of missing out. Hmm. Uh, what'll happen to me if I don't know this, if I don't open this? And, and so that's a motivator too. So all of those are different examples of this whole issue of social engineering to get you to open an email, to click on a link, open an attachment, that sort of thing. Okay, well, I'm looking at learning more. Yeah, there's more to come. <laughs> When you see a suspicious or alarming email, think about the emotions it may be trying to tap into, such as fear, greed, or FOMO. Be skeptical of any email that asks you to enter confidential information, such as passwords. Review the Social Engineering Red Flags document.